What is going on guys, Greggles TV. So if you want to sign up for the Android P beta, which is gonna be Android 9.0, you now can, especially if you have a Google device like a Pixel, Pixel XL, Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL, and some other devices as well. But the easiest one to sign up for is gonna be if you have a Pixel. So that's what I'm going to show you. So what you wanna do is go to the website address that's listed down below. Once that page loads up, log in with your Google account if you're not already. And there's gonna be a button down there that says view eligible devices. Click on that, it's gonna show you any devices that you can load Android P beta onto. And uh, you just click on that and then hit opt in for the device that you want to to sign up with. I have a Google Pixel 2 XL, so that's the only device it shows me that I can do it with. And that's pretty much it. What you do next is go on your phone and then uh, swipe down from the top, go into settings, and you're gonna go into updates, system updates, and search for an update. And it should automatically start downloading. And that's pretty much it. It downloads, installs, and reboots your device. And then you have Android P or Android 9. Oh, and you're able to play with all the new features that are with the device now. Just keep in mind, this might be buggy, most likely. It might cause apps to force close that normally did not. So if this isn't your main device, then you know you can definitely try it. I definitely recommend it at that point because you can always go back. Or if you want to try it as your main device, on your main device, then you can also try it as well. But just remember, it might be buggy in areas that you know it, would, it wasn't before. And if it's an emergency in terms of like, this could cause issues with that because you know your phone might not work so it, just be careful that's all i'm saying but you can always revert back and it's basically the same process you just go to this website that's listed below and then opt out and then basically what it does is it uninstalls that update um and that's pretty much it you just have to restore your phone at that point so thanks for watching guys i hope this helped if you have any questions or comments leave those down below and i will see you down the road peace